hey, it's Ed here. I want to talk about the difference between the master elite colors and our conventional elite colors. So you guys have known about the elite colors for quite some time. They're great inside of rural icings and chocolates. And I want to show you the difference between one and the other. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the white. I want to take this white. This is very similar to our regular elite. However, what we've done is we've put in much larger container and we're offering it in a bulk discount. This product is great inside of rural icing. However, again, rural icing typically is going to be white. What I want to show you is how to use it inside of chocolate. This product works terrific inside of chocolate. I'm going to take just a spoon and put it inside of here. Uh, maybe a little too much, so I'm going to take that out. And I'm going to start mixing it up. Now, this particular chocolate that I'm using, while I'm mixing this up, you can see this is almond bark. Almond bark that you get from Walmart. I usually use this whenever I make cake pops or if I'm making modeling chocolate. It's really neat and it's pretty inexpensive. I love the flavor and taste. Plus, it also has a great warp time. I don't have to worry about creating crystals whenever I make chocolate. But as I mix this, you can see that that normal natural or that yellow tone that inside it, that's inside of your white chocolate, it will slowly and evenly give you a beautiful white compared, I don't want to have it drip in there, you can see the difference between the white chocolate and the chocolate that I added white food coloring. How incredible is the difference? Awesome, that looks so good. Now, for those of you who are thinking, wow, I really, really want to get a beautiful red. Well, I'm gonna let you know, because the Master Elites are a little bit different, and like I said in my prior video, they need to have water to activate them. And as we know, water doesn't work well with chocolate. It'll cause it to seize up and tighten up and then it's no longer good. I'm gonna show you our traditional elite color. This is the same color. This is red rose. I'm just gonna put in. Uh, but it's a different product from the master elite. It is a different product than the master elite. And that's why it will work so in the chocolate. The master elite, I'm sorry, the conventional elites that we have those colors are what are known as oil dispersion. So they really do like chocolate. And you see how evenly that dissolved inside of that chocolate. Now I could have gone with a lot less color, but I just wanted to show you really quickly how easily and effortlessly that color dissolved. Now. But it would take more of the small jar depending on how much chocolate they're tinting Absolutely. to get to the true red of red rose. Absolutely. And you see- Because the small red rose is not as intense as the large one. No. Correct? That's exactly correct. The red rose, and I'm gonna show you as a- Master Elite Red Rose. Thank you, darling. I love you to death. So the Master <laughs> Elite Red Rose, I'm gonna show you the comparison. This is pigment. Mm -hmm. It needs to have water to truly activate it and make it the vibrant red. Mm -hmm. This is already activated mm -hmm. with a substrate, allowing it to mix into chocolates. Now, this will look very similar to this, but that's not what we're trying to achieve. If we're going to be putting this into raw icing or into buttercream icing, there's water found in both of those. That's when you get that vibrant red. But I don't want you guys to fret. We do actually have in our conventional elites a color that can mix into chocolates. The white and the black work great with chocolate and royal icing and virtually all ingredients. So here, let's put, because this is intense, I can use a lot less. Mm -hmm. However, you will see as I mix this up, it will not be that vibrant red, even though the two colors are the same. What's happening is there's no water to activate it. Mm -hmm. It needs to have water. It's very dull red. It is a dull red. It's similar to this one, mm -hmm. but you would have to add more color to make it more intense. 
However, that same amount of color that I added mm -hmm. inside of the white chocolate, if I were to have added that to, let's say, the royal icing, the same amount, it would have been a deep, vibrant, and rich red. Mm -hmm. Whereas this is still very light, pastel, because it doesn't have water to activate it. Right. Okay, so chocolate artists really need to stick with the original elite line that, recipe that comes is in the perfect. small jars you can order them in larger sizes but it has to be the original elites not master that's right so for the chocolatiers i'm sorry right now we don't have a color that works masterfully with the master elites how'd you like that little pun <laughs> <laughs> except for the black and the white and the white black and white will Though, work perfect exactly these are more for virtually all other ingredients, but the key component that you always have to remember, a little bit of water. So we have water inside of our royal icing and in buttercream, and that'll give you- And fondant. And fondant, anything that has moisture. We just got, we just understand that chocolate, mm -hmm. all it has is cocoa butter and some milk solids, sugar, all of so those. So with the master elites, it could be any sugar medium, basically, but chocolate. And? Isomalt. Isomalt. I remembered. You are a doll. <laughs> I love you, baby. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for just sitting with me and watching this little quick demonstration. Thank you guys so much. Bye. Bye.